Hey guys, so I've had a lot of people asking me how to achieve the time-lapse effect that I've got on my main channel. This is done completely in After Effects without any in-camera time-lapse. And so we'll jump in. This is the footage. So we'll drag our footage into a new comp. Um, and the way we're going to achieve the light trails effect is by using the echo plugin. But before we do that, let's add a curves adjustment and just crush down the blacks, only leaving the car headlights behind. I'm actually going to duplicate my um, footage layer and call this layer light trails. And then I'm going to pre-compose that with the curves adjustment. So this is our comp. And then on top of that, I'm going to add, I'll add the echo. All right. So what we want to do is increase the number of echoes. And as we do that, you'll see light trails begin to appear and that's because it's echoing the image for every 0 0.33 seconds and you can see this if I zoom in here and we'll put the decay down to 0.5 what you're able to see is each headlight is its own separate image but when we stack enough on top of each other we give the appearance of being a light trail so this is why I don't speed up the footage at the start, I speed it up at the end because you want as many frames as possible um, to eliminate the look of separation. For example, if I was to change the number of the echo time seconds, say 1.33, now it's only sampling for every 0.1, so the distance between the echoes is further apart so you can actually start to see the separation. Um, and that's why you want the cars to not be sped up because if you go into this comp with the cars sped up in the footage it means the cars will travel further in 0.033 seconds and therefore there'll be a higher separation between the um, the echoes. So you want to keep your decay on 1 and what you want to play around with is the number of echoes which will determine how long your light streaks are. So what I'm going to do is put this on add and turn on my footage layer so I can see it on top of my footage layer or maybe even screen and so you can start to see the effect happening here when you start adding more echoes you'll find that the rendering times take longer, it's quite intensive um, so you might want to consider putting it down to a lower resolution while you render. I'm going to change my echo to be 0.05. When you think you're happy with the amount of echoes, you can see that's the effect there. And what I'll do to this footage as well is add a uh, just a bit of a tint. Um, not to my footage but to the um, light streaks themselves because they do become quite saturated as you can see um, and I'll also soften them up a bit by adding a fast blur just so they're less sharp only a few pixels okay something else I did in my original comp was if I bring in my light trails comp again with these headlights, what I did was I added a uh, optical flares and then I used the source type as luminance. If I put this on blending mode screen, and then I change the source layer to light trails comp and then we bring down the brightness and scale and what it will do 
as you can see here, is it'll add a lens flare to every source of light, which in this case is every headlight. Um, and so what we can do is choose a better headlight. Something like that. Um, and it's actually going to mimic the uh, the light as well. So it's going to copy the headlight's light. Um, so it's going to flare red and flare purple and flare blue. And so what you can see here is that if I boot up the brightness just so you can get a better look, it'll add a lens flare for every source of light, which I did in the original just to make it pop a bit more. But it's a good technique to know. It could come in handy. When I was happy with all this, I'll pre-compose them. And then from there, I sped it up with the time stretch. And we'll uh, have a round preview. Alright, so there you go. Um, so I'll put the uh, I'll put my project file in the description if you want to download that and I'll chuck in the original footage as well um, so you can find those in the description and until next time cheers